Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install PHP 8.1.2 on Windows 10 64 bit. With that, we will also see a sample example. So, let's quickly begin. At first, go to the browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any browser. On Google, type PHP. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible. php.net, click on it. After clicking, you can see PHP 8.1.2 released. Go to downloads, click here. We have reached the downloads page. Here and you can see Windows download is visible. This is what we wanted. Click on it. After clicking, you can see the PHP 8.1.2 versions are visible. The first one is non thread safe and the second one is thread safe. Remember, always go for thread safe. So we will go below and we will download the zip file, which is only 29 MB. It is for x64, that means. 64 bit Windows 10 operating system. So I'll click on the zip to download it. So, guys, the download started. You need to wait for a few seconds. Let's wait. So, guys, you can see we have successfully downloaded it. Now I'll right click and click on show in folder. So, guys, here is the zip file. Now let us right click and extract all. Here it is. I'll click on extract straight away. So guys, you can see the extraction completed. Now just right click and rename it. I'll just rename it to this is fine. I'll open it. You can see you can see we have the PHP INI development and production here as well. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this reach the C drive. Here it is C drive program file and I'll just right click and paste it. That's it. Allow it continue. We have pasted it. You can see go inside and this is what I've shown before. Now just copy this. Minimize. And we will set the path now. Go to start type environment variables. Here you can see the first one, edit the system environment variables, click on it, click here. After clicking, you can see under system properties, advanced, click on environment variables. After clicking here, you can see the path is visible here. Double click on it. Click on new and just right click and paste the path. Okay, click on okay. Okay and the last okay. Now we have successfully set up PHP. Let us verify. Go to start. Type CMD. Click on open to open the command prompt. Here is the command prompt. Now type a command PHP space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. On pressing enter, if the following is visible, that means we have successfully installed PHP. Now let us create a new PHP file and run it. Minimize this. Let us create it on the desktop only. Okay. Let me create a folder with programs. I'll just double click on it. Right click and I'll just go to new. Click on text document and I have created my text document. Let's say the name of the file is demo. Okay, so it is .txt. I'll just change it to .php by rename .php .php. Now when I'll click here or press enter it will ask me that you want to change the extension of the file here and you can see it asked me I'll click on yes if it is not asking you you can just go to view and just select this option of file name extension that's it now right click and open it with notepad plus plus or notepad I'll go for notepad now here in let us write something quickly so this is how we write so this is how we write a PHP code. Here I will use the echo command to print something. Semicolon. Let me print this. Okay. I will just save it. So we have our code in demo.php file here. Copy this path. Go to CMD again. 
type cd that is change directory right click on right clicking it will get pasted the same path this path will get pasted you can see now I'll press enter and the directory will get changed herein you can see now we have our demo.php file here type dir and press enter we have our demo.php file here now what I'll do I'll just type a command quickly that is php the name of the file that is demo that is demo dot php and press enter on pressing enter you can see the same text is visible under demo.php you can see here you can easily run any program on php using this we ran it successfully so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install the current php version we also saw how we can run the how we can run our first php program on windows 10 so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things